Next, we deal with table 4.4n. 4.4n is meant for the minimum cover for durability of concrete, which is referring to this environmental conditions. This table 4.4 is normally used together with table 4.3. You can see here the structural class is divided into six categories from S1 to S6 and there are exposure class of X0 to XD3 or XD X3. We have discussed previously that the most common application of reinforced concrete structure in Malaysia it will be XC2 or XC3 for the foundation and for the typical structural element. And the typical design of the reinforced concrete structure is meant for 50 years. Therefore, we are always going to start with the class number 4. So, if you are in the category of XC2 and XC3, so your cover for the durability it will be 25. Next, when you are referring to table 4.43, there are several conditions that you can change the class of the structural class of the in the table 4.4 such as if you prolong the des design life of the structures to 100 years then you will have to increase the class by 2 for the XC2 and XC3 what does it mean by increase the class by 2? it means that initially your design is S4 now you are going to increase by 2 to become X6 and in the category of X2, XC2 and XC3, now your cover it will be 35. Let's say now if you use a higher grade of concrete, that means the concrete quality is higher, then you may reduce you may reduce the class by one. So your structural class class 4 you can reduce it by 1 to become S3 and for these applications you will only require 20 mm concrete cover let's say now if you have these two in place that means you will have to increase from S4 to S6 for 100 years design life and then you reduce 1 due to you are using higher grade of concrete therefore now your concrete cover will be 30 and this so on and so forth